Well guys, I've got the dining room table taken up. It's my office, my lab. Um, the electronics shop is way too cold. It is very cold out. It is 16 degrees today. That's the high. That's all that we're going to have. And then, so I'm, I got batteries going on here. That's the run battery. And this is an old antique um, uh, portable, well, I wouldn't say antique, but as far as battery uh, workstations go. It's an old multi-purpose um, portable battery pack that is deader than dead. It was dead when I bought it back in the day. I, I bought it at an end of year closeout and uh, it never did work. So I'm restoring that hopefully with my new Bedini motor and I won't go on in too much detail with that but I still gotta clean up the wires and pretty it up and get it on there and that'll be on the do-it-yourself world electronics channel over here I've got a laptop sitting here on the chair we are experimenting with I am experimenting with mining uh, altcoins so working on uh, altcoin miner that's just mining some really really cheap stuff anybody that doesn't know what that is you can look it up on the internet but that's uh, a lot of people know what Bitcoin is now and Bitcoin started out at over well, it was a uh, thousand some odd Bitcoin for a dollar back in the day and it has made people millionaires I'm not expecting to be a millionaire millionaire out of it, but I'm expecting to um, make some money. And I'm just using this laptop as an experiment because I can set it here next to me while I'm working on the wireless mouse and keyboard on the big computer, researching as I'm working overall. So it's a bit of a mess, and Melanie has been very patient with me, um, fortunately, during this cold period, and uh, work has to go on. So we're looking for multiple sources of income here. I'm editing the current video and um, still backing up all of my videos from the past and working on my own video server. <laughs> Got my solder and iron hanging out. I've really taken over this area. And Melanie is very patient, I have to say. But um, just really doing a lot of web work. I'll go out and work in the cold for a while. Then I'll come in and uh, warm up a little bit. I'm back and forth all day. So this is what's going on in the off-grid homestead right now. Not a lot of action, so it's not going to be a long video. Talk to you guys later. Hey guys, I'm working on my box here. Um, it's sunny out. Well, it was. Now it's not. Okay, anyway. I was pulling in some decent power. I'm at 14.2 volts and around 5 amps. I've got the AC outlet wired. And I've got conduits on the back side of the box. All right. I've got a back on the box and conduits to protect the wires. I'm going to put a clamp on the back. I forgot what it, I don't know what it's called, but the thing that clamps on here and holds this in place. So I'll put that in there. I think there's one that screws on. I'm not sure. But anyway, I've got that on. And I've got the one for the DC wires, which you still have to run through the wall. But we're going to have this all hooked up here soon. And I've got the front plate that I'm about to go out and cut and fit and size for this. Well actually no, I gotta get the DC wiring done and then I'll cut the front plate and then this will be up and running live. Well, as soon as I go out in the battery box I'll have to work out there too. But, let me get this going. But this is what I'm doing right now is getting this up uh, put together. Now, I heard comments about running the not running the AC wire exposed so I'll probably put that in a conduit on the wall one of those uh, trim pieces and then put the box down um, it'll be about equal height with the normal AC wiring of the house so that should be fine well there's a happy blue LEDs we have DC power coming in from the solar and the inverter is hooked up so all I have to flip do is flip it on when I finish the faceplate so we have AC and DC power coming from the uh, solar powered uh, generator box outside the um, sun is gone so it's 2.3 amps 13 and a half volts it's too bad now that I got the DC side hooked up finally but oh well well there it is guys I now have AC and DC power coming from the solar generator box in our tiny house Well, I was going to show you the box. Baby cat just got totally in the way. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute. 
Um, put the little thing up on top here. We've got a little table, all right? And we've got our battery box. Got, oh, baby catch, AC and DC power. We've got our battery box here, our um, off-grid solar power box. Um, anyway, I'm trying to show you. It's there. I guess you'll be seeing it as we use it. So there it is, guys. And there is my cell phone. And we are charging. I can't see my cell phone on my screen. On my phone. Charging. Yep, anyway. We are charging my cell phone. Off the grid power. That is nice. Later I'm going to have a handle on this. And we're going to have disc, uh, quick disconnects on the back. And this will be a portable um, AC-DC power unit for the solar generator. And we're also going to have multiple DC outlets, probably on the other side, for 3 volts and 6 volts and 9 volts output. That's a future expansion.